Straight on, so I'd like to invite uh, Phil and Ian to come and join me here as we work our way through members of the uh, Age Verification Providers Association today. Um, um, I'll introduce um, Phil first and then um, Ian. So Philip Young is, um, has over 30 years experience in the software engineering uh, industry, previously co-founding the UK healthcare software business DocMan, which manages clinical documents for two thirds of the UK population connecting hospital directly into GP's clinical work workflow, improving communications and patient outcomes. Um, he founded uh, Arisian and has created the digital identity platform we'll hear about today, um, Lucidity. Uh, and working alongside him is um, Ian Moody, who's uh, chief executive and co-founder of Arisian. Um, before that, he pioneered multiple award-winning solutions from digital prescriptions between GPs and pharmacies, to the world's first online pandemic flu solution. Uh, now through Arisian, Ian provides the powerful data identity platform Lucidity, easily validating identities, ages, and other attributes to mitigate risk. So, uh, and over to you guys, welcome. Good morning, everybody, and thank you, Ian. Um, that's covered off my uh, first part of my slide, so, uh, <laughs> so we'll dive straight in. Yeah, so, um, uh, who are Arisian. So um, you're probably wondering, um, you know, what we've done in the past, and as Ian explained, uh, the majority of the uh, uh, things that we've done has been in the healthcare space. Um, we've had um, a lot of success um, around patient outcomes uh, and improving uh, transfer of data across digital care settings, and obviously security. So one of the things that we bring um, to the, uh, the industry is our uh, expertise around handling data securely uh, and managing it in, in enclosed environments. So why build a digital identity platform? Well, when we started this, um, we set out as a healthcare company. Obviously, we had ambitions around solving a problem that exists in healthcare, which is patient consent. It sounds easy to do, but in actual practice, there is huge differences in the way that that happens in practice. So we thought what would be a good idea is to do this electronically, save people being in the wrong place at the wrong time. And in order to do that, you need to do it remotely. So a system that could remotely verify and give, allow somebody to give consent uh, needed to be created. And we spent a little bit of time working on that. And we quite quickly realized that actually what was needed was something that could handle trust. And that's at the, uh, the basis of lucidity. So in, uh, in, in the way that Ian described yesterday, we, uh, we needed to pivot and we came up with 2.0. And 2.0 is what we see here, which is lucidity. So how does that help in uh, age assurance? Well, age assurance is just one part of what we do. It's obviously a very important part, uh, but one of the key things that you can do with a digital identity platform is selectively share uh, data. So, for example, rather than sharing, you know, a, a full name, a birth address, and, um, and anything else that you might store about the individual, you can selectively disclose things like, I'm over 18. So that is obviously a, a basic principle of a digital identity platform. We can do it uh, both online on, and in person. <coughs> Um, you may have seen that um, we are a uh, pass digital provider, so we have a pass card which you, you can use in person currently for any use case to buy underage products apart from obviously buying alcohol until the legislation changes. But you can also do it online. So we can do things like if somebody sends a request from a, it might be a call centre, in order to remotely verify that the person on the other end is who they say they are, we can send that request remotely and in real time. And rather than the person under normal circumstances saying, well, you called me, I won't, you know, I'm not gonna go through security until I know who you actually are. Because we're sending it digitally and there is an end-to-end -end communication, the person receiving that message knows that it is from a genuine person and it's not actually somebody, it's not a phishing attack, social engineering, that kind of thing. So that's the kind of thing you can do with uh, digital identity. So moving on, um, I'll just walk through these quite quickly. So essentially we have a uh, mobile app. I'm not gonna to spend too much time on that today. I will show it in, in uh, combination with the um, um, age assurance product. 
uh, but essentially you can store your personal details on there and it's based on a verified ID and you onboard that user in traditional ways by scanning your passport, doing a selfie, biometric match, data lookup to make sure that it's an enduring uh, identity, all that kind of thing, and you get uh, either medium or high depending on whether you use um, an NFC in order to scan the passport. So the, the identity is reusable, um, not partic particularly well liked in the identity community particularly because obviously there's a lot of people making a lot of money about of charging every single time. Um, clearly, if you have a, um, a secure digital identity, you can reuse it. And that is the benefit that we offer along with other people like Yoti who have a digital identity. Sharing that information is far, far cheaper than doing a, um, a, a new transaction every time. Um, digital escrow, this is something that um, was in response to um, a query we had from a social media provider. Um, they had a particular requirement to um, store the identity of individuals, but they didn't want to store the data. So what we actually came up with is something that we use quite extensively in healthcare, which is a break glass situation. So the data is stored at the point of identity proofing. Um, the relying party knows that the person who has verified is real, but they don't actually see the data that actually made up that identity. They simply get a proof. But in the event that something happens, say somebody misbehaves online, how do you know, how do you get back to the information and how do you trace them? How do you report them to authorities? One of the ways you can do that is through the escrow. So whilst the data is stored and held, it is secured and is encrypted in a way that only the relying party can access. So it's not a big pool of data. It's separated, uh, secured and uh, available in only exceptional circumstances. So that means that as an individual, you're not giving all your information to a relying party. They're not having to store it, but it is accessible in, ex in um, exceptional circumstances, which we call break glass. Passwordless authentication, again, because you've got an identity, we're able to use uh, FIDO2 um, authentication and uh, when integrated using our SDK, you can sign directly in to a website using a website or application uh, using your phone. So you simply get a request sent remotely in real time to your phone, you accept that and you're straight in. Digital credentials, well an example of a digital credential is our digital pass. Um, as, as we've already said, um, we can uh, issue credentials, we can receive uh, credentials from other parties and uh, a, a user then can manage them, they can revoke them um, and uh, you know, it's a convenient way to store certain information and make it accessible to individuals. Identity verification. So this is something that is common across uh, the industry. Um, everybody's seen it, everybody's done it a million times. Um, we can um, do right to work and right to rent, where uh, DIAT have certified, um, and we can also do DBS as well. Uh, Real-time consent. So as I explained, great for call centers who you need to know they need to know who is on the other end and the person on the other end needs to know who's calling them. So age assurance, which is the, uh, the point of the demonstration today, um, is where I'll show you our um, WordPress uh, integration. Uh, we have an SDK, so you can literally just drop it into your application. Or if you're a, a WordPress user website, you can uh, use our WordPress plugin in literally 15 minutes. You can have your site. Uh, protected by uh, age assurance. So we cover a number of um, uh, age assurance methods. We have uh, digital identity, lucidity, and, and ideally other systems. So think about EU consent and the way that that will work interoperable uh, digital identities. Uh, age estimation, as we've seen quite a lot of over the last few days, open banking through our partners, uh, OneID, uh, mobile network operator lookup, uh, which is becoming slightly more accurate, um, tends to be quite expensive. So it's one of the things that we tend to offer, but you know, not many people actually use it due to the cost, but it is there, it's an option um, and, it, and is, uh, it is available. Depends on the country you're in. Um, in some countries it's actually quite a, a low accuracy rate, but in the UK it is fairly high. And of course we've got the uh, ID document scan and selfie match. Um, I've added 
KYC on there because that's something that we wouldn't be doing in isolation. It's something that happens usually in the background in addition to one of these other methods to increase the insurance level. That's just an indication there of um, the, uh, the cost versus friction. So when we're talking to customers, we can give them a bit of an idea of the best way to get your customer through. We don't force a customer to use a particular option. We try and give them a, a range of uh, options so that they don't hit a brick wall and can't proceed. So that, that's just a, a, a bit of an indicator based on our experience and our implementation of these methods. So what does that look like? Typically, we start off with a uh, age estimation and liveness check, but at the same time, we present the user with a uh, open banking or digital identity option. And then failing that, if they uh, failed the uh, age estimation, it will then drop through to typically a document scan where they can present an ID document. We support 13,000 ID documents from around the world. So typically, um, most people will be able to get through that route. If not, then obviously they go through to open banking and then again, mobile lookup as a tends to be a, um, a, a last uh, option and they can cycle around that until they've obviously proved their age. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to switch over to um, my own laptop and I'm going to take you through the, um, the WordPress implementation. As I said, WordPress can be installed and implemented probably about 15 minutes and time taken to register and download and then uh, implement it in your site. And today we've, uh, uh, we're launching the e-commerce uh, integration for WordPress. So that allows a site that's selling uh, age restricted products, say 16, 17, 18, to selectively uh, tag certain products within the uh, e-commerce site so that at checkout, based on whatever age is required, it will then prompt you for age estimation. So I'll just flip it over. So you just have to bear with me two seconds. I'm not actually getting any uh, internet access in this. Uh... Are you going to just turn your laptop on the screen? Yeah. Yes, so I'm um, not currently set up for that. But I'll just... Oh, no, they, they said I could just um, share it with, through Wi-Fi. Yeah, onto the Zoom call. Yeah. But not onto here. Ah, oh, is that not the same? No. Oh, okay. But I can do it for you. Yeah, yeah. yeah I need a bit of time. <laughs> Best laid plans. <laughs> so you should plug that in. And are you not getting Wi-Fi? No. Do you want me to? I'll give you my hotspot if you want. So what we'll do is I'll put the camera mm -hmm. onto the screen and here so you can do it in person and we'll just do it not, not sharing Zoom. Okay.
So there's, there's no internet access, so I can't obviously show the... Uh, What's it called? Oh yeah. Okay. There you go. Alright. Leave my phone here because it's connected to my phone. There you go. All right, thank you. All right, apologies, everybody. Uh, technical hitch overcome. Um, it's going to curtail my. Um, um, presentation a little bit because I did actually want to show you some of the uh, the workings under the hood but uh, I'm going to give it a go anyway. Um, so this is a, a site that has been age gated with the uh, WordPress um, plugin. As you can see we've got the uh, Lucid, well the, your logo you'd stick at the top and then which whatever the uh, the age gate is set as in this case it is uh, is 18. So if I click start what it's going to do is it's going to um, fire up the um, uh, age assurance plugin and then give you the the options as I described earlier so first question is are, are you over 18 so we will we'll go through and do the age estimation flow and that is going to on, on a desktop setting that's going to uh, present a QR code if you're running this from a mobile this screen will be bypassed so I'll just go ahead and uh, And share that so now what it's done is it's handed over to my phone um, I, I did want to actually show you this process by sharing my screen so it's a, a bit of a shame I can't but I can show you afterwards if anybody's interested so I'm going to take a selfie and now it is uh, checking the liveness it's telling you what's going on at the same time on the desktop yeah. There's multiple faces behind me, so. <laughs> Sorry, we actually had this uh, last night at the, um, at the OT event with people's good in the background. But, uh... Okay, so at least that proves that uh, it does detect multiple faces and, uh, and obviously checks for liveness as, as part of that process. You see, it's, it is fairly seamless, it's quick. Obviously, there are lots of providers doing that kind of thing. What we're doing is we're packaging things together in a way that is easy for people to implement. So it's not a six months implementation time. You know, you want something that's 15 minutes. There are millions of websites out there that need to do this. This is a really quick way to do it. So when you're finished, obviously, it's then going to go back and um, you're then into your age gated site. If I just reset that. And uh, we'll do it again. But this time, rather than doing the um, age estimation flow, I'm going to take you through the, uh, the digital identity flow. So here I'm going to um, verify using Lucidity. And uh, again, we're going to scan a QR code. I'm just using my normal camera. I'm not going into the Lucidity app. I'm just scanning the uh, thing and what that's doing is it's opened Lucidity and what it's, it's now presenting me with is a screen saying this uh, particular website uh, is asking me to confirm my age, am I over 18 and you can, if they ask multiple questions, you can selectively choose which parts to send back. In this case, I'm just going to say yes, I'm over 18, I'm going to accept that. That's then processed and then success you're in. Now that is the um, typical uh, approach that you can use which is age gating but if we um, have a look at the 
uh, e-commerce version with WooCommerce integration. Let's see if I've got the uh, address right for that. Okay. Yeah, so this is the um, demo site that we've set up for e-commerce. So I'm going to jump into the uh, demo shop here. It's a little bit slow because of the uh, internet connection. Okay, so we've got a, a range of products here. Um, a handy backpack, which seems to be uh, nicely priced at £239. I think we'll skip that one. Um, and we've got a uh, an age restricted product generic which I've just set up as uh, uh, as there. So I'm going to add that to the basket, and then what I'm going to do is I'll check it out, and you're going to see what uh, what happens at that point. So have you not chosen any age restricted products? It's not going to um, do anything. Um, it's simply going to allow the user to bypass. In this case, I'm going to go to my basket, check out. It should detect that there is an age-restricted product in there, and then you're then into the uh, into the regular flow. Okay, so proceed to check out, and then you're into the uh, age flow. So it's, cho it's it's identified that you've got one product in there as 16, so you can start. And then you can and go through that. And, and one of the things that we've we've done is as a um, as a user of Lucidity Age Assurance, you can accept tokens from other websites that have used Lucidity Age Assurance. So clearly, the, the more uh, people that use uh, our product, um, they will benefit from other users having previously verified. Um, obviously, that's just within the Lucidity ecosystem. We clearly agree that the best way to do that would be on a much wider scale through schemes like EU consent. So it's obviously something that we support. So we're looking for over 16 here. Let's just do that again. Okay. So that obviously just took, took a few seconds to do that. Typically, if you've got a, um, a better connection, it is um, you know half the time because some of that time waiting there was uh, was network latency. But that's it. And you're then through. Now, one of the things that um, a lot of our customers using uh, age assurance on e-commerce websites had said to us is that whilst they have mechanisms for proving age, part of the problem was that there was a good percentage of those that they actually couldn't deal with. So they've taken the order and they actually then um, weren't able to ship that order because they didn't have proof of age. So putting it at the basket point of view, giving the uh, consumer as many options as possible to get through age estimation, making it reusable, making it reusable across other Lucidity sites. It's obviously all these things are designed to make it as, uh, as seamless as an experience as possible. And obviously, once that's done, then that will carry on and order shipped. So, like I say, unfortunately, I can't share my mobile device, so I can't show you some of the features of the uh, of the, the digital identity app, uh, Lucidity. But if you come and see us in the uh, uh, in the tech pod outside, well, I'm happy to uh, take you through that. Yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah. So uh, if anybody's got any questions, uh, feel free. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs>